A lot of people who get to the top of the mountain are happy and they just pack their bags and go, you're like, you're coming up here with me. Yeah. I want you to come up here with me. Yeah. I mean, you know, you can't just keep moving forward by yourself. You've got to look back and you've got to say who, who, who else is behind me. Keep the door open. Let everybody in. There may be no one more qualified to crack that door wide open than Eva Longoria. I knew I wanted to help my community and I wanted to help the women of my community. Eva's path to making a difference began in a humble Mexican-American neighborhood in Corpus Christi, Texas. I come from a family of independent women. I come from a family that really values intelligence and resourcefulness mm -hmm. and discipline. And patriotism. Eva's Mexican roots are deep, but her American roots are just as meaningful. We used to go across the border all the time when we were little. All we had to do when we crossed back was say U.S. citizen. And I thought that was a magic word. I'm first generation. My parents came in from Egypt. I'm like, you're ninth generation, yeah. right? Ninth. Yeah, nine, nine. And I'm proud of it. I'm yeah. a very proud American. Yeah. But I am also very, very proud of my, my culture, my heritage. But not that long ago, Eva realized she didn't know enough about her culture and heritage. And I thought, I have a lot of questions and I just want to understand where we've been so I can help my community go to where we need to be. Eva Longoria. So at the age of 35, she went back to school and got her master's degree in Chicano studies. My thesis was about Latinas in STEM fields and how, you know, we need more, you know, engineers and mathematicians and biologists. Latinas, in fact, represent only 2% of the entire U.S. workforce in these professions. So in 2012, Eva established a foundation. And over the next decade, she helped create initiatives that encouraged almost 2,500 young, low-income Latinas to make their careers in science, technology, engineering, and math. It was important for me to prepare that specific group for the future jobs of this country, uh, for the world. Her foundation also established microloan and business consulting programs that so far have enabled more than 2,000 Latina entrepreneurs to start their own businesses. Just telling people you believe in their potential is huge. Mm -hmm. And then giving them the infrastructure That's and the it. tools That's to it. reach that potential. Eva has literally inspired America, this America. <laughs> Actress and activist America Ferreira has collaborated with Eva Longoria on several grassroots projects. On behalf of Poderistas. Like Poderistas, a fast-growing digital community that gives Latinas a forum to exchange ideas and inspire each other. For Latinas to see that their lives matter, their joy matters, their health matters, their economic health matters. And I feel like Eva is the model of that. She'll be as glamorous as you need her to be. And also, she'll jump on a bus with you and go down and visit families in a shelter. Her heart is ultimately with empowering folks who never get to see their power and feel their power. Action! It is no surprise, then, that for her feature film directorial debut, Flamin' Hot, Eva chose to tell the story of a Latino janitor's rags-to-riches rise to become a marketing executive in one of the world's biggest corporations. It's really a movie exploring the theme of how opportunity is not distributed equally. And he really faced a lot of adversity in his life that said, no, 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 no. Ideas don't come from people yeah, not like you. Like you. <laughs> and he always was like, but why not? But why not? But why not? That drive, that ambition, that never give up attitude, it sums up Eva Longoria. And these days, she has another reason to be a role model, her four-year-old son, Santiago. <laughs> I mean, could you get better than that for an endorsement? Mm. No, 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 no. How has he changed you? Um, you know what? Now there's like this um, urgency to make the world a better place, just like this is my why. Your why? He's my why for everything. <laughs> Eva is convinced that a better future for her son is a future where her community thrives and succeeds. And so, as she blazes a trail all her own, she reaches back to every Latina she can. 
I've had a lot of people who just come up and they say, thank you for fighting for me. You know, they feel like they don't have a voice. I'm not speaking for them, mm -hmm. but I encourage them to speak for themselves. You're not sure you can do it, but I, I believe you can do it. You need permission to be great. I give you permission to be great. Go and be great. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.